Out there was kind of crazy there in that whole race. Wow. wow. <laughs> no other form of motorsports, no other race that's ever been put on at this place other than NASCAR, man. That's, that's all I can say to describe it. Uh, on paper, it looks good. It started second, finished second. But uh, it's a lot deeper than that, and it's uh, still second place finish. Wish, wish uh, Ross would open up a bit of a hole there for me to contend with the eight there, but mm -hmm. I, I had some, a lot of toe damage from the from the restart prior, and uh, just glad to come out unscathed. Have you ever seen, I mean, it was chaos going into one pretty much in every single restart we had. The last time I've really been a part of something like that is rally cross you know it's kind of a contact sport and, you know i figured it'd be a bit that way with um not having steel fenders anymore but uh that was a lot you gotta flip a different switch when the racing gets to be like this when it's just elbows out banging doors and all that absolutely i mean it's survival i mean the, the two restarts prior, I, I solely positioned myself you know, in the break zone to make sure you don't get wiped out. You know, I, there's certainly some luck involved with that, but you know, not being on the outside is one of them. But um, also making sure you don't have too harsh wheel-to-wheel -to -wheel contact. But like I said, I'm only in control of that so much. I felt like I got a bit fortunate with the last one. I got I'm pretty sure I got shoved all the way down in the break zone. Thought it wasn't going to work out well and cleaned out a lot of guys. And, I finished. <laughs> so, so can you just walk us through what, what you experienced, like from the green flag through like turn six? Like, how did that play out? Yeah, I knew I knew I wanted to be on the bottom. I feel like that was gonna be the safest place to be because uh, inertia just keeps going that way <laughs> in a NASCAR four. And um, you know, I I got my rears completely locked. I'm I, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I got shoved all the way into the corner, um, and then everybody else ended up in the grass and finished. Uh, came out second. You said you had you, you probably might have had something for uh, for Reddick if you gave to let you by. You just watched Reddick do his burnout by you. How frustrating is that knowing that you might have had something there? Um, I mean there was certainly an opportunity and you know, I, I approached that restart like man I don't want to get eaten up because I have all this damage. You know, when we when we got out of the first restart, I was I was shaking the car around, my brakes were really unstable, so the caution gave me time to kinda of come up with a game plan and kinda of adjusting my tools to figure out how to, you know, not get eaten up, but then you get a gift in front of you and you're running you know behind the two leaders at the end of the race and i was really hoping so the one car would kind of force the issue and shove them off the track or at least give me an opportunity but i never had one do that nah, that's good how much more confident does this make you as a cup road racer this finish today um we learned a lot today we, we tried a lot of new things this weekend and i think raw speed check raceability not so much how much uh, coming to the playoffs here, starting to get some good finishes, stacking up here, how much momentum do you feel like you're building right now towards a postseason run? Um, some. We're not, we're not doing worse. You know, last week was really frustrating and poking. I just 